Hi, and welcome to Ask the RV Expert. I'm Chris Doherty, Technical Editor for RVTravel.com, and I'm joined by Rob Heckenass, Program Manager for Xantrex. Rob, thanks for joining us. Hi, Chris. Thanks for having me. Jim writes in that when he plugs in his motorhome, the coach works fine, but the chassis battery dies. Uh, he uses the dash stereo when he's parked, which might be what's killing the battery. Uh, he wants to know if there's anything he can do to fix this. Rob, what do you think? Yeah, definitely. It's a, it's a very common problem because basically the dashboard stereo is typically the chassis battery. Uh, however, we have this very large house battery bank, which is being wonderfully maintained by the onboard charger. Uh, so two things you can do. Uh, one, you can rewire that stereo in the dashboard to be powered from the house battery bank instead of the chassis battery. That's probably the best way to go because your house battery bank is much larger in capacity than your chassis battery. The other thing you can do, uh, which is also an excellent solution, is basically adding a, an Echo Charge, a Xantrex Echo Charge charge module. What that does is it's basically a one-way check valve for current that allows a little bit of the charger, the AC charger current from the house battery to reach the engine start battery or the chassis battery. So that when you are connected to campground, it's the AC charger is charging your main house battery, but it's also essentially uh, uh, passively trickle charging your engine start battery. Uh, so small loads like that are not a problem. But I would still go to the extra step of rewiring that dashboard stereo to be operating off the house battery. Because your house battery, of course, is much larger, so you're not limited to uh, being plugged into the campground. It just gives you more flexibility. Uh, that, I believe that would probably solve all those issues. Okay, great. Rob, thanks so much for joining us. Thanks, Chris.